Welcome to Lisa Beach You Meet, episode 63. Cheers. Cheers. What are you drinking? Whiskey. No. Oh. Where's mine? I, this is the last of it. Fair enough. Well, it's been a little bit. What are you drinking? Um, oh, I know. Key Bump. Yes. And what by Huff Hearted. A triple IPA. Key Bump. Do you know what that's in reference to? <laughs> yes. Mm. Um, I thought it was a little kind of ridiculous that they named a beer that. Their name is Hoof Hearted. Yeah, but <laughs> that's talking about farting. This is talking about cocaine. Yeah. Well, it's a 10.5% beer. For all like... um. They're warning us. Oh, okay. But like if we're laying all our cards on the table, have you ever had a key bump? Off a key? No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a no. <laughs> on that note, you're not gonna ask um, me. I'm just kidding. All right, moving on. What's on that note? Vote for us. Oh yes. Okay. First order of business tonight. Sorry to lighten up the mood a bit. Um, first order of business Cocaine is the cane references. Biggest business that we've had to deal with. There is a new awards podcast, uh, podcast awards thing going on in Columbus ceremony. Yes, red carpet, paparazzi, entourages, sure. the whole, like TMZ is going to be there, the whole nine yards. And um, our podcast, Lisa Beats Your Meat, is up for an award in the arts category. I don't really think they like sought out and they're like, oh, these people are doing well. I really think they just like took all the podcasts from Columbus. I Which mean, is cool because I'm down with like anyone should get a chance. No, there's some that aren't on here, right? Really? I don't think so. What are the, some of those ones that you? Nah, they're all on there. Like Anyways, stock that. No, aren't there like? Isn't there like a girl podcast? I yeah, that's I'm so that's me being like a hundred percent a hater. And but they're not on here. They right? are. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. So we won't talk shit about. Them. No, please don't. <laughs> this is already awkward that you've even mentioned it. But anyways, um, we're up for. So we're in the arts category. So I'm gonna. I'm listen like beaters out there. I need you guys to do me a solid favor, and I need you to go vote for the for our podcast so we can win an award because it just like would really fucking mean a lot to me if it actually went through. Like, do you know how cool that would be if we won an award? Lisa spent the last like two days harassing people on Instagram, and I was like. Maybe we should actually have a podcast and ask our podcast <gasps> listeners to vote for our podcast. So, like Jimmy was begging me to podcast. Like that was the issue there. Is that yeah. what you were saying? Mm -hmm. That like I was like, oh, I'm I'm too busy to podcast. I was saying we should approach our listeners. <laughs> it's yeah. been a little while. But anyway, simply put, it's ColumbusPodcastAwards.com. So this is Scott a Columbus podcast. What is it? ColumbusPodcastAwards.com ColumbusPodcastAwards.com Easy to remember because you're voting for us for best Columbus podcast. But Columbus, Ohio is where we live. So these are just, I think it's what, like 60 something From podcasts. From Columbus. People just in our city. So yep. obviously... Um, I'd say more than less of our listeners are not from Columbus or Ohio, but, but that still doesn't matter. Vote. Guys, yeah, you can still vote. It's supporting a show. So go to there. Um, the first thing you'll see is the arts category. You'll see We're Lisa the first, Beats Your Meat. Yes. And then you have to press like vote now. Yeah. Don't and click then vote Lisa Beats Your Meat. That'll take you to the podcast. Click vote now. Put in an email. Vote like a hundred times. You can vote one time. You can vote as many times as you want. You just got to put in an email. But you know we all have like seven emails. Yes. So put in put one. in your twinklove69s at AOL.com. One legitimate vote your, is all we ask. Put in your hottie with a body at hotmail.com. It's an easy. Put in your okay, okay. mommy with a tushy. At what's another search worse. engine? In <laughs> <laughs> Dogpile.net. It was never one. <laughs> um, but li really, it takes 30 seconds. So go there, do that for us. It'd be really cool. Um, it's funny that uh, there's not any well known podcasts we thought mm -hmm. from Columbus, Ohio. But that true crime. Yeah. They're like legit. I couldn't believe you found that. And 
True, Con- True Crime Garage is a podcast that mm-hmm. we've listened to many times, and it's pretty good. It's like those two dudes sitting outside their house, and remember the one guy would always say something kind of goofy, and the other yeah. guy would like set them straight. I don't know who they are, but um, it's a really good show. Dad a- trying to get bad dot. Oh Hotmail.com. That's, that's what my other one is. Dad trying to get bad. It's probably taken 47. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, do that. It mm-hmm. will make Lisa very happy. And then mm-hmm. you can vote the whole month of May. So we'll probably ask you a few times. Yes. I'm going to I'm gonna ask you guys a hundred times. Please vote. Look, like I know it seems like I live a perfect life. <laughs> you know. It's the little things. But. If I won any sort of award, can I just like be honest with you? I've never won anything. I've never won. And one time we got a scratch off ticket and we won $15. Mm-hmm. We still have yet to turn that lottery ticket in. Yeah, that's embarrassing. But honest to God, that's the only thing I've ever won in my life. You won any like awards that you earned? No, I mean, like I got like when I was like in elementary school. It's like you're smart. Here's a plaque. I won a coloring contest in second grade. You have to be in the Johnny Appleseed Parade. I mean, I got like first chair when I was a musician. Yeah, see, you just used but to win. But that's winning. not winning stuff. Well, this would be cool. Winning or not, it would be cool to at least be higher up in the voting and just to be noticed, I guess. Yeah. We're honored to be noticed um, anyways. What could I give our beaters in... In like well, it payment. Said, it said you could bring as many people as you want. If so anyone out there wants we'll to come. I'm not kidding. Roll up with like 500 <gasps> vegans. We should get like a, we'll get like a party bus. Like, All right, listen, I'm telling you, beaters, far and near, I swear on my son's lives, if wow. anybody here wants to come, me and Jimmy Murray, we're going to, we'll pay for a party bus. And we'll go like all around Columbus before. It's a good idea. Before the the award ceremony, it's in August. It's in like the last weekend in August. Hit up some bars. Yeah, we'll hit up some breweries. We'll hit up some vegan the hot spots around Columbus. We'll we'll pay for it all. Anybody, anybody that wants to come, we got you. We'll pay for the party bus and all the the food and drink. Jeez, easy now, Tiger. I'm just living that life, you know. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm really good at faking it. Uh, but we're excited about it. And uh, while you're on there, there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, share the, you know, the Lisa Beach or Meet or the, the opportunity to vote or just share the website. I mean, there's some really cool podcasts on here and you can kind of see where everyone's at. So, yeah, we'd appreciate that. And we'll check back in and. Oh, I would more than appreciate it. When you when you first started voting, not that we voted because we're not allowed to, but when people we know were voting, it told you how many votes each how, podcast how people had. Were doing, and we now were, they took that away. Yeah, you can't see. We were in second, but Lisa was. We're in second to so. to crypto naturalist, which yeah. is not about cryptocurrency. It's about like it's not. No, it's about like crazy nature things. I think that's weird. Which another side point: everyone out there should buy. Bitcoin. Because <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> or Litecoin. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. And beyond, but not, beyond meat. Beyond meat. So actually, actually that news. is a good point. Beyond meat, which makes Beyond Beef Burgers. Which um, we're clearly fans of. They they are, what's that called when they're, they're like publicized? Not publicized. They went public. public. Yeah, they went public. Yeah. Um, they're a publicly traded company now. As of May 2nd. Yeah, so that was exciting. They started off at like 25 a share, and now they're up to 50 already? No, like 70. I think they went up 84%. So I don't know if the second they went live, if if we had bought something, if if you could possibly hop on to an investment site and grab some. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long it takes at the, at the opening of an actual you mm-hmm. know company going public, but... I forgot about it, and I popped into our... I told you to buy it. You did, and I popped into our investment account, which is very small. I used to play with some penny stocks, <laughs> but there was some money in there. I forgot about it. There was like a couple hundred bucks in there, and I was like, oh, cool. So I bought like two shares, but mm-hmm. they were like 60 bucks a pop, Yeah. but I think it closed at like 84, which... So we made a cool 30 bucks. Something like that, but... Nice. Um, 
talking to some investor friends and I guess that's obviously typical when anything opens, it's going to, it's going to go up and then people are going to dip out. It's going to level out and then it'll probably slowly climb. So I don't know. I think we should probably invest in that. I don't know anything that's going to compete with it besides the impossible burger, but I think we should wait. It wasn't someone just saying that you can't put money in your investments or not money. You can't put emotion in your investments. Um, Who was just telling us that? You, your father always says that, like constantly. Yeah. But he's, I, he's super emotionally. He He's in business with my brother. Yeah, but the way he like runs his properties, I think that's, I don't prescribe to that whatsoever. Um, my investments are not just. All my investments are super emotional. Yeah, they're not strictly for. Money. Money, yeah. yeah. There's more to it. And yeah, like we want to flip houses on the west side because we believe in the west side. Yeah, I love the homes. I love the architecture. I love preserving. I love the what's hood. There, I love. Yeah, I love making. And I'm sorry. People... What is the word I'm allowed to use to describe the hood? <coughs> the I inner city. I can't. Well, inner city can't use ghetto. Clearly, don't, can't you use know, you ghetto. Can't say ghetto. That's people way bad. Like that. um, you can't say hood. You the can't. Neighborhood. You can't say. You can't call it like Urban lower area. socioeconomic, you know. You can call it that. That's no. that's perfectly fine. I mean, it's more descriptive, but, but it's I don't know. Not, it's not just lower socioeconomic people, though. I think know? it's kind of like racial stuff. If you're of a certain race, you you're can, allowed to say it. You can use the certain slurs. All right. Well, we legit live border. We don't live in was the area. <laughs> But we live right next to it. We live in the community. I also taught the area. But these are my people. Regardless, I go of to any the grocery that. store just like them. I go to the the marathon and pick up my my black and milds just like everyone else. Your lottery tickets. I literally buy you forties at Kroger. Yeah. Like I like I like I walk out with like five dollar vegan cheese. And then like a couple Cobras. Should, like that's my grocery it's list. It's actually been a little bit since you got me a Cobra. Yeah, but like like I'm not buying it in sarcasm either. Like I'm buying it like it's like, oh, this this will last Jimmy a whole evening. Like, I like a little malt. Like I'm not, not trying to be like, well, not trying to be like, a, what's that called? Like a hipster about it, you know? No, this I is actually, legit just like what you drink. I enjoy it. <laughs> Back to the point. Um where were we? Oh, passion in what you're investing in. Um, when it comes to investing in single stocks, like it's that's not a smart idea, right? No, it's it's really dumb. It's but it's not dumb. I mean, it could be for entertainment purposes, as far as it's I'm like concerned. It's like gambling. Yeah, I'm not going to say don't go to the casino. I'm not opposed to going playing blackjack, but don't go play blackjack to make money that you need to support yourself. Yeah. Like do it for fun, and then if you're going to invest in a single stock. Do it for fun or do it because you believe in it. And mm -hmm. the more you understand it and believe in it, the probably the more you're going to know about it and, yeah. and have a you know intuition or insight as to whether or not that stock's going to continue to grow. I believe in Bitcoin. Um, do you? Like, honest, honest to God. It I don't just, have any, like, feelings for Bitcoin. I do. I just feel like it makes sense. Like, I think that in, like, this globalization of our world and globalization of our currency just makes sense. Bitcoin is a universal currency that in the future we'll all be able to use. Like, if you go to China right now, you have to have a different sort of money. If you go yeah. to Europe, you need a different sort of money. And there's, like, exchange rates. That seems confusing. But, like, Bitcoin is just an... You know, everyone can use it. it's a universal currency for as like, of it like that. for as like as complex of a thing as it is, and for as like abstract of a thing, I understand it to just be a a universal currency, and it seems like our world's going in that direction. Well, I would say I'm not saying that to like <clears throat> convince people to buy it because no, I, I, I never thought should, about the universalness of it. I don't know why that never occurred to me. Um, just the 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 untraceable use of money i think is what really got it started in it's the dark web and being able to have to drugs, financial right? tra well not even just drugs but legitimate things but to, to, to protect your privacy and you know i the the dark web just seems like that's where you buy like little girls and stuff. Actually, like i don't know, understand or like drugs i don't know I mean, clearly, that's like where you buy, like, Molly, because that's where we got ours. <laughs> yeah, so fake alcohol, or not fake alcohol, 
um, <laughs> you laugh fake but. like clothes and stuff. <laughs> if anyone, I don't think you're going to the dark web to buy fake. No, get your, like your like Shibercrombie and niche. <laughs> no, that stuff is like <laughs> growing rapidly. Your like Bucci. China's getting away with, you know, what's the knockoffs? Word? Yeah, generics, generics, knockoffs. Trying to think of the word of it, but. Um, it's it's a lot more prevalent and easier to distribute now because there's ways of buying and selling things without having a trace Tracing. to the money. But they're actually there's like a it, it's untraceable, but it's more traceable. If that makes any sense. No. Like uh, the blockchain. T- and you know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna say if anyone is listening to Lisa Beach or me, and you like Bitcoin, cri- cryptocurrency, or this blockchain, or any of this stuff, you have any insight to it. Email us because I have a we have a friend, mm-hmm. Kathy is her name, Crypto yeah. Cat on Twitter, and she's obsessed. And she even today was like, "When are you going to start talking about cryptocurrency?" She put all her money in cryptocurrency. <coughs> no, she didn't. You just make stuff up. She sent us a um, birthday card with Litecoin. Um. Anyways, Litecoin is it Litecoin or Litecoin? Litecoin. She wants um, us to have some people. She's she's come across vegan crypto people on Twitter. And uh, she keeps saying that we need to accept cryptocurrency donations to our podcast because people. Dude, will... I would accept a wink. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would accept any sort of payment. So maybe we could just have a crypto person on. I don't know how that ties into veganism, but. It's just I smart it's a, people. It's I, think it just makes, I think it's just a, a forward thinking concept. And exactly. I think forward thinking, con- I think forward thinking people are vegan. Mm hmm. Or plant based. I would say, like me, you're you're just a hippie animal lover. I you know became what? vegan because I'm a new age. And I was thinking about me being a, a hippie the other day because I had on your favorite jumper, and I I wanted to tell you that you can't be mad that I'm wearing this jumper thingy because I know you don't like that outfit. I don't mind your jumper. You don't like that outfit. You have some outfits I don't like. That's not one of them. Okay, but <laughs> you don't like it. I can tell. But you can't be mad when you when you clearly got with me knowing that I was a hippie and then don't like the hippie clothes I wear. I no. I, you know? I liked that you were a hippie. I was a hippie. Yeah, but you can't you can't like get down with one side of hippie is hippieism yes. and then not the other. That leads to today's show. Today we're talking I'm about shaving my armpits, but I'm just saying. Please and thank you. My first girlfriend didn't shave her armpits. I think we've talked about this before. It was terrible. That's it's not it's not okay. I think I told you that story. Yeah, I you made did. Her cry. Yeah, I can't believe you made a girl cry because you're so Mister Sensitive that I could not. If you try like over not shaving armpits, that's just a bizarre. Really bad. Like, what'd you say to her? It's like I can't. Was, like you sat down. And you're like, listen, <sighs> listen, Shannon. This I can't. Is, her name wasn't Shannon. Was it Katie? Yeah. Because every single woman you've I ever she dated doesn't is listen Katie. To this. And if she does, she could, I don't have any contact with her, but maybe she could email me. But She'd be mortified. Let's call her Shannon. Oh my gosh, this is such a terrible story. Please tell. But she was, we got in like an argument and I was... I You're just, like, I, oh my God, well, I can't even take it. Shave yes, your armpits. I like always hinted at it and then it was just like a joke and joke and then it, it just got worse and worse. What do you joke with me about? And she always had hairy legs, which I didn't really mind. What? Yeah, but... Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I think people. Do you know who, I shave everything every day? I know you do. I appreciate I that. I shave everything every day. I think people who. I, we didn't have sex for three. What was it? No, it was like six weeks. Excuse me. It's TMI. We didn't have sex for six weeks because, well, because I gave birth. That's oh, okay. normal. Do you know how many times I shave my legs? Every day? Every fucking day. Well, just in case? No, I just, I like being shaved. Just, Good. Me too. I just enjoy. It just makes me feel pretty. I just like everything shaved. Well, we don't judge you if you don't shave, unless you're one of my girlfriends. I hundred percent would shave. <laughs> I think, but if you never shaved your legs, you're. It's not as weird. No, that's a myth. It's, oh, you mean like if the hair comes back like hard or something? Because that's a myth. This gr- girl that I was dating, she never in shaved like her legs. Eleventh grade. I don't think she had ever shaved her legs, and they weren't. I shaved my legs gross. in the seventh grade. I don't know. 
I don't know. Well, anyways, this is we're really all. I'm sorry. We can you introduce just, the show? Can here. you finish your story about how you told her you wanted her shave her? Oh, armpits? and it was, yeah, they were getting gross, and I thought it was gross. And I was a hippie. I had like dreadlocks. You were gross. I saw pictures. Yeah, but I was like, can you please shave your? You had armpits? a bird she was like, living in your she was hair. Like, no, I'm not going to shave my armpits. So I just can't. And then it just kept happening, like these conversations, and eventually I was like. I'm going home. Like, this is ridiculous. If you can't just make one small sacrifice for me, it's something I really, really want you to do, and you can't, then I, I can't do this. And I was, like, leaving. Mm-hmm. And, she, and then I felt bad, and I went back in to, like, say I was sorry. And she was, like, in the bathroom, shaving her armpits, crying. <laughs> Like so, a Samson moment. So terrible. No, that's a terrible of her. Well, no, I was you're... a kid. I didn't know. I didn't no. know what was happening. When she, like, just, like, if we could set, like, the the images here. When you guys are, like, getting it on, would she, like, put her arms over her head, like, all seductively, and you were just like, <laughs> aww. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna die. I'm, ch- it, I'm coughing already because of my allergies. Is that what happened? No. Like she, like when she put her arms up. <laughs> okay. You okay. put your arm down. Okay. We're not tw- twenty minutes. We haven't even said what the show's about. And then an arm. And by arm, I mean penis. We're gonna talk about <laughs> uh, fish today. Oh God. Not the not the, not the hippie band that I used to listen to with my girlfriend, or not the whatever Lisa's laughing about. <laughs> no, it's. The band you still um, We don't to. even have to talk about this. Literally, so we, we, have, all the we time. have enough other stuff to talk about. Okay, no, no, let's talk about fish. Okay. Um, well, there's a million things to talk about with fish dun, 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 when it comes to freezer. veganism. <laughs> oh my God. Dun, 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 dun. I do like a band called Fish, the <laughs> PH. I've been a big fan for a long time. Okay, I'm sorry. I used to tour with them. No, I'm no, not, you used I to follow, follow them. them. I was, yeah, I was their light guy. Let's yeah. be very clear there. I used to follow them around. Um, but it was veganism and fish. I think it's a very okay. interesting topic that I'm surprised we haven't touched yet. Okay. Let's talk about fish. There's, a, there's this fine line I think we walk um, when we decide what we're going to eat and what we're not. And yes. there's vegetarians and there's vegans and there's pescatarians yes. and there's this and that. And there's so many freaking names and, and we've, titles out there. We've eaten, not I haven't had fish, but we've eaten fish in the past. I've eaten and fish. And we've justified it on our vacations. As we were like, I've, it's local. But yeah. we've come to realize that's not cool and not okay. It's still, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a, a decision. I'm not, uh, we don't eat fish right now. I have mm-hmm. eaten fish in your life. During the time period that I've considered myself a vegan. Ooh. Yeah. I wouldn't um, consider you a vegan. Though. Yeah, so that, that unveganized me. But um, that was a long time ago. But there is this community of people who do that. Yeah, pescatarians. Um, no, it's... Oh, yeah, I guess a pescatarian is like a vegetarian that eats fish. Mm-hmm. Um, but a vegan that eats fish... Don't put a label on me. There's, I don't all like these, these have labels. There's a label for a vegan who just eats... Um, like mollusks and like mm. crustaceans and stuff. Like, Trans crusty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, like uh, oysters and stuff like that. Like things that don't have like arms and legs. Yeah. They call that a bivalve eating. I guess well, that's a kind of oysters and mollusks. I think those are muscles. Clams. They don't have a nervous system. I think we talked about this. They do, but like kind of. I've been doing a lot of reading. No, about they don't. This. So some do and some don't. But like muscles don't. Uh, like what are those? Like shallots? Not shallots. Scallops. Um, scallops. Scallops do. So they're like a part of the same food group, but they're or not food group, but like animal group but they're not they have a so it's a pain thing when you're talking about like they don't feel if pain you say they, that they don't have a central nervous system you're arguing that they don't feel pain it's kind of like a venus fly trap yes yeah, so that's but, but that's on. the argument is that these are pretty much like water insects or yes. plants like more, more than, than they are insect. insects more than they feel are pain. animals insects feel pain but hold on like i want to just side note that like I feel like I'm not down with eating these things because I'm not sure of the impact on the rest of the um, like biodiversity. Oh, you've come to the right place then because you know? I'm, I'm okay. well researched in this. Okay, please start. Uh, well, so, I mean, there's this is an endless topic, but there's a couple things that I've found. Um, so concerns with, like you said, the environment around the fishing. 
um, bycatch or incidental fishing. Um, incidental fishing. Catching. And then the things I'm usually more obsessed with is subsidies and what is this costing like economically. Um, and then the, the last big thing I want to talk about is uh, actually farming fish, which is pretty fascinating too. Okay. Rather than catching them in, in nature. So I'll just... Take Meet me at the farmhouse. That was one of my favorite fish songs. Farmhouse. Yeah, it was a good album and a song. Yes, uh, it was. It was an album too. That was the name of the album. Okay. Did they really have names? Were yeah. their names like butterflies no, and unicorns? No, it wasn't like Led Zeppelin. Like Hats and boobies. One and two. No. That was the names of the albums. Yeah. The songs had names. Oh, well, the song, fish songs and albums have names. Uh, also, not. Led Zeppelin songs had meaning, tone, depth, uh, a story. You don't. You've never given it a chance. You one time told me that fish's <laughs> music didn't make sense, but the actual, like, the sounds made sense. The sounds were making a story. Yes. Like, what are you, you're, they're not, they, it wasn't an opera. It's not a fucking orchestra. It kind of is. Oh my it God. really kind of is. It's four people and it is like an orchestra. And it, okay. These songs sound long Just and. Fish is, is mirroring Vivaldi's Four Seasons over here. They, it's, you have to give it more okay. of a chance. It's even okay. better than that. Anyways, um, so, all right, where are we here? Back to the, uh, I guess we'll start Let's with the bycatch. Let's talk about bycatch. Bycatch. Yeah. bycatch. So that's probably one of the biggest concerns. When we're talking about natural fishing, well, there's a couple ways to fish. Um, that obviously, that you can farm fish. We'll talk about that in a minute here. But if you're going out into the ocean and you're just catching fish, there's two big like factory ways of doing it. One is dragging nets. Like on the ocean floor? Well, just through the actual ocean water. Okay. So how um, deep is the ocean? <laughs> Depends where you're at. Like super deep. <laughs> yeah. So they go to these specific areas where they're catching specific She's fish. She's so deep dot gmail <laughs> oh my dot com. God. Balls deep. At, <laughs> uh, trawling is that um, when you drag a net. And then there's something called long lining. I've never heard of that. Long lining or <laughs> yeah. log? Long lining. <laughs> Log lining. Yes. Oh my god. Log lining sixty nine at Gmail is a hundred percent my new email. So this is when they drag like a hook behind the boat. It's kinda like fishing, but they like throw a ton of lines out there and they just pull this doesn't seem like it's that efficient. But I guess just like we're a catching bunch of random like, hooks. <coughs> yeah, with bait Do on they them. put like worms on them? Yeah, well, probably not little worms, but <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've literally never been fishing. That's that's another thing is they when you're talking about big fish, you know, like tuna and things that you're big going to, fish. you're gonna sell it in large quantities. You're feeding them fish, so you have to like go fish to give. I mean, them a lot fish. of fish are predators. You know, most fish are predators, so do you have to catch them with other fish? Um, so, anyways, that's the long lining um, or the two ways. Bizarre. But both of those are going to lead to bycatch. Obviously, drags are going to okay, lead Okay, so to- bycatch is just like stuff in your net that you didn't think you were going to get, right? Uh, exactly. And things that you're not... Expecting. Expecting and things that you're not prepared to deal with. So what is, what's so wrong with bycatch? Like, One, gonna- bycatch <coughs> is you didn't mean... Like you caught like a dolphin. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dolphin. Damn well, it. But then also... You kill a lot of it. Yeah, but then also it's like, shit, I can't... Um, harvest this dolphin. I'm just this dolphin's gonna die, and yeah, you don't bring it in and like lay all your shrimp out to sail, and then you're like, oh, here's this dolphin too. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> no, that dolphin's gonna die, uh, here's and this it died, sea it died like in vain. Yeah. Um, so apparently, this is not just a little issue. Forty percent of the intended, um, of all the fish caught in the world, forty percent of it is not what they plan on catching. That's Most of it ends up dead or just tossed back in. Um. You know, in in bad shape. So log lining. Yep one exa- one ah. big uh, issue that's come of this, or one big example. Seems of like the biggest issue right there. Destruction. Well, no, specifically um, leatherback turtles. Um, in the past twenty years, ninety five percent of the leatherback turtle population is totally gone. In just the twenty in years. Twenty years, and these are. The biggest turtles are the second largest reptiles besides alligators. Dinosaurs. Um, they look like dinosaurs. Um, they're but in turtle form. Majestic creatures. But they get caught all the time because they're so freaking big. Uh, especially in like the they Gulf live of in Mexico. The ocean? Yeah. 
And they can't the, live that far out, though, right? They only have to live near a shore. No, they, these things can travel up to six thousand miles. They can dive from uh, like a, they they could be six thousand miles in the ocean. Out at sea, well, yeah, you'd probably cross. <laughs> it's not a lot of six thousand mile spans in the ocean, mm. um, but they can dive down a mile. Um, Sorry, Sam's having a serious dream right if now. You hear those noises? That's our dog whimpering in his sleep he's like running through a forest right now or he's getting it on with some lady dog no he's not some guy dog i don't know what you want sam or some girl dog or some guy dog that looks like a girl dog (laughs) or some girl dog that kind of looks like a guy dog so he's got to take it too far (laughs) um leatherback turtles whatever they want have been um and so so the federal government was like all right we killed almost all the leatherback turtles Here's Stop what you got to do, fishermen. You got to put these TEDs in your nets. They're turtle excluding devices. Mm-hmm. Um, and that it's a device that apparently will somehow let a leatherback turtle out if you accidentally catch it. Or it'll monitor or it'll, it'll signal to you that you've done that so you can try to get it out of your net. Okay. But they don't work. They don't work most of the time. And even if they did, they're not enforced. It's just, do you have your TED in your net? Yes. Okay. You're cool. You're good. You're done. It's like we got a freaking permit to put in windows. So I went down mm-hmm. to the city of Columbus. Hopefully they're not listening. Got a permit for windows. And they're like, cool, you can put in windows. And I'm like, what's the permit for? You're not going to, they never came to see that I did it right. properly. I just had to give them a hundred bucks, put a piece of paper on my window. And then that was it. Right. Okay. So listen, you are Mr. Capitalist. I have a question for your uh, ideology here. I prefer capitalism. You prefer over capitalism. Most no, just economic. hold on, go. But like, you prefer like the like an open capitalist uh, capitalist market, like a free market, no regulations would be like your your fave, right? I'd say I'm more yeah libertarian when it comes to the economy, right? Laissez faire. So, um, this is like something that I'm confused about because like this example of this regulation that this TED apparatus that you were supposed Ooh, to put yeah, in your question to put in your nets to, to regulate, you know, some inhumane behaviors or whatever, like as your, your background, how do you respond to that? Because like, a, cause I'd be saying, you'd be saying, get rid of it yeah. and let the consumer deal with it. But the consumer is not like this is, I'm just saying this is a perfect example of how, um, how a company could could not not aren't using their ethics. I so know? this is just a personal opinion. I see when we regulate like this, we usually do more harm than good, and I think this is an example of it. Um, the consumer was the person I'm assuming, or just an environmentalist who was noticing and pissed that these turtles are dying. How would they know though? They the, wouldn't. No, the, there's. Marine biologists studying this stuff. How do we know that 95% of these things are gone? That they're not, the fishermen didn't tell us this. You know, somebody figured this out. So we bark to the government to solve this problem and they say, oh, we should be barking to here's Ted. So they make up this make believe device and they say, here, oh, we solved this problem. But we're barking. Wash our hands. We should be barking to the companies, not to the government. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Consumer and demand is what really works. And that's why, like, in New York. We've talked about this. I'm not mad at. Tyson for switching to vegan products. There's, the people were pissed that like McDonald's and Burger King are going to come out with vegan burgers. No one was pissed. No, there's a ton of people saying like, if you go buy that, you're supporting the shitty company that kills animals. Oh. No, I'm no, like, no, no. no you're like, speaking to no, them no, no. saying, I want you, to I'll still your buy things. your delicious no, no, no. sandwich. Except five annoying vegan people said that. Am I still answering your question? I'm I know. To stay on topic, but. but like literally like all vegan people are on board with those companies having vegan options. Not and all. And like five annoying vegans mentioned it. Okay. Well, when it comes to regulation, I think... The less is better. Yeah. What, okay, but like, it depends. Would, I do would want... the leatherback turtle be not in danger if if this Ted, you know, wasn't there? I don't know. I'm just... Um, well, actually, that leads me to the next thing. Um, okay. Part of the problem, if you want to stop regulating, you have to stop su- subsidizing. Um, part of the reason these leatherback Ooh, turtles are on, getting let's caught. Let's just say that again. Part of the problem is stop regulating. You have to stop subsidizing, yes. right? Can you tell I'm surprised? That's, my, just, that's my vanity plate in my you car. You have to says stop that. 
What was it? Subsidizing. You have to stop regulating. You have to stop subsidizing. Yes. You have to stop subsidizing. You have to. Stop. Okay, whatever. Got it. We are. So. <laughs> that makes sense. Does it? Yeah, totally. Can you um, tell my shocked, about surprised half face? Of, of my awesome statement that I made? Half of the fish that we half of the profits that the fishing industries make throughout the world are subsidized by the taxpayer. That so the reason is such that, that motherfucking BS that boat is out in the Gulf of Mexico getting nets full of, of bullshit and thirty percent of it is shrimp and seventy percent of it is other shit is because our tax dollars. Yes, they would. And it's be in able international to, waters. They wouldn't so be able they get to get away with just this fucking murder out there. Literally, yeah. Um, and that's where, yeah, it gets regulation gets more difficult. But if you stop subsidizing, then you don't need to regulate as much because the stuff gets more expensive. And then they can go out and actually, you know, pinpoint. We're not encouraging this, but then it gets to back to sustainability, and we're trying to feed humans. You and, know, yeah. And I would, I, I feel bad that our grocery bill is like. Literally astronomical. Oh, God. Don't tell me that. It is. It I is. I can't try. You have like a weird little voodoo thing going on now where I can't well, tell how much you're paying for groceries. Thank Because God. when you buy click list groceries that get delivered, they put Instacart. like a... Uh, or Instacart, they put like a... An author has like a certain amount. A certain amount, and then they give you some back, and they take more, and then you get... They get bring you wrong shit, and then they give you refunds. So every time you buy stuff, there's like 15 things that are pluses and minuses, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know. Thank God. Thank God, because I spend like way more money than you would be comfortable with. Um, like just like we're we're, you know, basically populating. I don't even know. Like well, just so it, much, so much. But hold on a second. Feeding us well. But hold on. This is my point: is that when I feel bad about the amount of money I spend on my grocery groceries, um, and it's way more than an average person. I don't feel bad in the respect that I feel like the products that I buy are really, really sustained. Like they're, they are like all yeah, making, come from like a very like good wholesome like product. Like they're all organic. They're all GMO free. They're all like without GMO. Free? GMO. <laughs> they're all, no they're all like without synthetic stuff in it or dyes or artificial flavorings. Like literally like they're, they, you could not eat better, more quality food than yeah, like what's it's, coming it's out of our kitchen. Yeah, it's good for, you know, the world we live in. But and, it's also good a for, for so I guess everyone my, in this house that's consuming it. What I'm saying is that you were like, all oh, the prices of that stuff would skyrocket. And, you know, that aggravates people because they don't want to spend more money. But at the same time, you probably should be spending more money because that's how much that costs. Yeah, like if that fish fucking died for you to eat... You should be you should pay more money for that. I'm sorry, you shouldn't be paying yeah. 99 cent for a 20 piece chicken nugget meal. No, but like, even, that's not normal. Yeah, but you can't sit here and say that people should pay more money for food. But they should. They should on certain aspects. But the other problem there is if you do stop subsidizing these things, in my humble opinion, um, you're going to drive down the price of other things yeah like healthcare. like there's no like <laughs> like fucking lettuce there's not a huge demand mm. for lettuce and tomatoes because you can go buy a 99 cent cheeseburger um lettuce if you make the cheeseburger more expensive then the demand for fruits and vegetables and and chickpeas and beans and all that's going to go up and that will drive the price down and people will be able to afford to eat normal things the stuff we buy might cost more because it's non-gmo and organic blah, blah blah but really it costs more because there's just not that much of a demand for it so they can raise the price yeah i don't know it's it's crazy but no um, vegan food's just expensive yeah. but it's fine i don't mind it because i feel like it's a part of the like this is what i signed up but what for if you can't afford it then there's i mean there's ways to buy you could you, you could can. fill the grocery cart without Oh, for sure. You know, without breaking the bank, if if you if you don't have an endless amount of cash like Lisa apparently <laughs> to Dude, buy I spend her groceries, so much money. I spend so much money. Oh, we got Instacart this week. I'll just real quick. I got Instacart and I ordered some. I was so pissed. Um, we got like a frozen gardein, those fish fillets. Oh. Those those oh, there you go. Stand on the fish top. Fish fillet, but they're that. they're fake fish fillet. They really taste. Actually, I haven't had like fish in a really really long time, and those taste super 
fishy. Out of all of the fake subjects? secret blind taste tests, I would be willing to bet money that the number all one all that disposable money. Yeah, all this money that I don't have. The number one thing I would, f- I would on fool it. people with is frozen fish. Number yeah. two would be breakfast sausage. Okay. Um, so if you're non-vegan out there, I, I'll take you up on a bet. You can. We can if have. You, if, would we have our party you. bus to go to the <laughs> podcast awards? Tons of Just fake fish, fish fillets, and breakfast sandwiches. Right, let's everywhere. keep going. I got some cool stuff. I'm to sorry. Talk okay. About. Anyways, so we got Insta- Instacart, and I ordered one of those. And they will sometimes substitute stuff if they don't have like the item you at requested. And this lady um re- she replaced the guardian fake fish fillet with like tyson chicken like not okay i was 100 percent pissed and then on top of that i ordered like bath soap you know like like shower gel soap castile soap and they didn't have it and she replaced it with dish soap Oh. And then I asked also for some uh, multi-purpose concentrate, Myers like concentrate spray. Again, replaced it with dish soap. Wow! Like, what's this bitch doing with dish soap? I don't know. She probably didn't know what the hell this weird ass soap was. You yeah, were why she at like three different types of dish soap? Okay, sorry. Go on. All right, totally new topic, but there's a lot of bycatch out there. Onward, tons as of stuff that's being caught would say. naturally is. There's bycatch, okay? This next topic I'm really excited about because I don't really have a... All right. It's the most most controversial animal thing ever. We've gotten to the lightsaber section of our fish show Oh, I should say before I go... Well, I've gone far enough. There's a book called uh, Meatonomics. I've Mm -hmm. talked about it before. Um, A lot of these topics I pulled from that. That was like my skeleton. I was reading a chapter in that. You had an outline? Um. Of what I was going to talk about tonight. I, I just think you like write down random facts. No, I, I was reading this book and while I was reading, I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I write down these things and then I go research them. Um, so this is kind of a jump, but he started it. And then I went into this deep wormhole of the Internet to find all this information. But cod fishing mm-hmm. um, and clubbing seals. I don't want to talk about this. No, this is fascinating. OK, Um Give me a second. So commercial fishing um, over the last hundred years in the North Atlantic area um, has led to tons of cod fisheries beginning to collapse. So like areas where codfish are, they're just disappearing. Okay. And you know, fisheries, that's like where the cod lived. Yeah. Fishery. I was trying to figure out what this is. I was talking to my friend, Justin. Oh, it's Don't his use his name. I mean, J- Jason, <laughs> 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 who works for the... Stop, no, stop it. Well, anyways, I was talking to somebody about this and trying to understand what a fishery is. And uh, I guess it's just like a, it's a designated area where you're going to find a certain amount of fish. Okay. Uh, of a certain it's kind. Like a fish neighborhood. So you go like. Fish hood. And a business is going to target that area. So anyways, the cod are de- getting depleted like in the North minnows, Atlantic. Minnows live in the less socioeconomic area. Oh God, stop it. Salmon we'll, live we'll, in like time the for suburbs. jokes later. Um. So tuna as these cod fisheries start to collapse. The up and, and coming. Then, all right. You I'm sorry. Yeah, anymore? Go on. I'm sorry. Anymore? In the North Atlantic area. I can't think of any. Yeah, I know you would have said some if you did. Um, so Canada starts to see that the northeast of America is starting to have these problems and it's, it's pouring into Canada. So they say, Okay, we're killing all the cod. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. So they ban cod fishing in in the North Atlantic. Now this is a huge industry. Mm-hmm. So overnight, thirty five thousand people lost their jobs. Lost their jobs in one. In where did you say? This is in Canada. In one okay. swoop of a pen in Parliament in Canada. Okay. So people go ape shit, okay. you know. And this is obviously a concern in in America. Are there no too. lobbyists in Canada? Uh, no, this, I mean, this is a long time coming. This okay. happened. So there's this huge backlash. People are obviously out of their minds about it. So Canada so and says club, that... Club some seals. Close. So Canada had previously banned doing that, hunting seals. Yeah. Um, unrelated to this. But these seals do eat cod. Only like It's only like 10% of their diet. Oh, okay. Um, in reality, they eat more 
they, they, they help COD in reality, but Canada said, we need to blame this on something. So we're going to say, um, actually, it's the seals that are um, depleting the COD population. So we're going to lift that ban on clubbing or killing seals. Okay. So, so. Wait, so Canada was like, there's too many COD? No, there's not enough cod. There's and not enough cod. Oh, because so stop by, eating, stop, stop killing cod. Yeah, the, and but, then they were actually, like, oh, also seals eat cod, so kill the seals. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna lift that ban on seals. Okay. Um, since Have you ever then, seen an ugly picture of a seal? I saw like one. Once. They're always adorable. That's always that's the point I'm gonna get to. On their so, back, I'm like holding like a little clover. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like crying. Yeah. Like a tear. Or um, holding hands. So since then, um, every year in Canada, over 300,000 harp seals um, are killed. Okay. And these big hunting things that they do. Okay. okay so so it just initially, goes to show you regulation is stupid then, I guess. Hunting, I hear, I see that. Hunting seals, fucked up. Clubbing seals, fucked up. Like that's, mm-hmm. we've all heard of people clubbing baby seals, yeah. right? And, mm-hmm. and you're like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, like, why would you do that? How does this that happen? doesn't even get into my so, brain. So, like, I can't, can't even... I can't put it in my brain. Same here. So, I started looking at, looking at it, and I'm not going to say that this is an okay practice. Clubbing but I, seals? But I read some websites where I kind of got some why? justification why? as to how or why this happens. Okay, not saying it's a, it's, okay. it should happen. State your um, case, because... So I'm outraged right now. Yeah. Well, one thing that I learned is this does not justify it by any means. But the clubbing of the seal, um, they're not just hopping off boats, running up to seals and beating them to death. Okay. Um, they Take have them behind the alley. No, they have give sh- them a drink. They have shot them yeah. with a gun, uh-huh. um, and in the head. And, and that didn't kill them? If it doesn't kill them, they immediately try to get to them and club them to put them out of their misery. That's not okay, but... No, that's not okay. But it is a little different than how we see it, right? Didn't we, didn't didn't you typically just... I just thought people were like running around with bats like, I'm going to fuck these seals up. And then they like find a seal and just beat it. And I was like, that's horrendous. How could anyone ever do that? But it's more like when you hit a deer and then you put out... Or if you shoot a deer and you're chasing it and it's... In mm-hmm. pain, you put it out of its misery. There is some compassion t- that hunters or seal hunters have. Whether you agree with that or not, they're not just barba- <gasps> barbaric killers. <laughs> okay. You don't have to agree with it. State your case um, number two. Number two, um, one person that was interviewed was like, listen, um, it does it's not... My culture. I've been doing it. My daddy club it's seals. A my little My granddaddy bit. club seals. We club <laughs> seals. That's <laughs> what we do. This argument, if you are someone who, you know, I go to Whole Foods and I only eat free range chicken and I only, I only eat grass fed beef that I know my grandpa grew this cow and he killed it. If you're one of those people, which there's a ton out there and mm-hmm. they try to justify it, there's really nothing more free range and organic than a seal. Than a seal. They're not factory farmed. They're not raised on concrete. They're not raised in a barn. They live a totally normal life, and then they're and then they're instantly killed. No. Hopefully, okay. But I'm just saying, do no. do you get the argument though that that's better than than a factory farm than eating a than supporting a cheeseburger uh, or a chicken egg where the males are ground up. Or yeah, a pig no. that's chained to a fucking fence by his nose and a feeding tube yeah, coming out it, of him. Okay, yeah. Like, yes. No, you, I, I, I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying yes. In the scale of shittiness, I'm not saying yes. I'm convinced but I, I'm that clubbing baby seals is less shitty than supporting, this is my opinion, animal agriculture, particularly chickens, pork, and cattle okay. in America. I'm not saying yes, but I like I understand that. that um, like, it's all no. It's all yeah, a hard it's all, no. <laughs> yes. But... In like you understand that justification I understand a little your, bit. Your 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 argument there. But it really does come back though, and this was interesting too, um, to what you started this with. They're so fucking cute. Yeah, it's but a seal. do you know that they're not always? Uh, they're not like all the pictures from like cl- don't club seal websites are like little babies? white babies. Yeah, and they don't kill the babies. They kill them when they grow up, and their fur turns black, and they get less cute. Um, it doesn't help, is but is that an argument? It, like, no, it's not an argument. But but really, the reason that people are so concerned with baby seals while they're chomping on a fucking cheeseburger is because 
yeah. big fat cows are as cute as little fluffy white seals. Right. And again, and that's that's, that's a cool. that's a bullshit double standard that yes. that I get you need to think about if you're right. supporting one thing while complaining about another. Yeah, like you have a dog in your house, but you eat some some pigs. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'm an animal lover, but I'm it, keto. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just that's, kidding. Sorry. No, I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Mm-hmm. I, I love my my animals. Oh, I just for the record, them. if my sister Jack was listening, that was not a shot at you. That was a shot at Keto Connect. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Uh, oh, anyways. they do say they're animal lovers. Yeah. Um, but not you just know them, what? But, but there's no, a lot like, of people. Like, there's, prob- veg- there's veterinarians that. But they probably think they are, though. Like, to their standards, just to our standards, they're not. Yeah, they're just certain type you know? of animal lovers. They're a certain type of animal And I'm lovers. not an animal lover, and I'm a vegan, so. You are, though. You, like, had to replace a bird's nest, and you were like, what do I do with this? And I was like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Take those birds out of here. I'm just kidding. Up. <laughs> uh, well, that was a big topic. Um, I was excited I, to talk did about Did you that come one. to an end? Because I feel like... No, I a really it. shitty. So, no, the argument the end is um by killing more seals it do, has done nothing to change the, the problem cod. with the cod thing. Okay. But they have been able to justify um restricting and banning more cod fishing in Canada because they're letting people kill the seals, but they're still killing we them. are and they are depleting it to the point where we might not have cod. You're just not really seeing it that much anymore. You don't see cod. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen. There's, a, but there's a certain fish cod. too that. <laughs> the fuck's I've, a cod? I've talked to some people they that live. I know that Maybe are like in Hilliard? this business. <laughs> that uh, there's just certain fishes that just go away. Maybe and like they just the start neighborhood between other Bexley things. and Columbus. I don't even understand what your jokes are. <laughs> Like, I don't know what you're even trying you know, to say. Because there, there's like a little area between Bexley and Columbus that's like they go to Columbus schools, but they're still Bexley is like a really nice area. What's the cod have to do with that? Because I feel like cod's maybe like a like it's like middle ground. Like they're not like a well to do fish. They're not like a baby seal. But no, they're like they're like, like middle class. They're middle class fish. Actually, speaking of that, um, turtles. Those turtles. Those live in like. Palm Beach, Florida. Well, I was on, I was looking at uh, Whole rich. Foods I was website. This has to kind of do with, with your My terrible analogy. jokes. Um, and Whole Foods likes to claim that they're very sustainable. And I've always kind of been blown away by going into there because they do have a ton of, you know, I don't know. They do have morals in what they do, but mm-hmm. they do still support animal agriculture. Mm-hmm. But well, they, it's owned by Amazon now. It is. But they do, the on their website, have like very detailed descriptions of where everything comes from. And they have very high standards. Um, they claim that they know exactly where their Stuff's products from. come from. The farm. They have third um, party companies that they hire to go do all this research. I should do that. And, uh, that would be a great job for me. No, it wouldn't. What, support the killing of animals? No. By making sure they're killed properly? <laughs> No, That's just by saying. figuring out like where they're from, I would it would be like an undercover operation. So they can kill them? Well, maybe I would try to stop <laughs> it. I could be like a superhero for animals. Uh, well, this is... So like one of their things was um, we... Or where was it? Something about like we support sustainability. And then they have this this paragraph on their website and it's like... We are so careful about our fisheries that, um, that we don't even check up on them. We know <laughs> they're doing great. We know they're totally fine. Um, no, they're they're like farm raised fish and stuff. And that's actually what I want to talk about next. But they say things not just Whole Foods. Anybody would say this like uh, our tuna fish, no dolphins. It's yeah. like, oh, how sweet of you to not kill the dolphins while yeah. you're killing the tuna fish. Like what? Who's like, like, oh, the, no dogs died when I made these cheeseburgers. <laughs> like, yes. Do you have to put that on the package? Like, yeah, I've noticed. I didn't the- kill that one because it's a little bit bigger than that one. And you can feel better about eating this can of food because yeah. it's a little bit small. It's the same thing. It swims right next to it. I've, I've noticed that on like other um, products, not that I've bought from Whole Foods, but just in general, like I bought like, I don't know, it was like baking powder or something and it was like no aluminum. I was like, oh. Did I have fucking have aluminum in the other one? <laughs> like I didn't know, you know. Or like everything says like 
BPA free or GMO free or all this stuff. But it's like, I don't know, like my like toothpaste was like plastic free. And I was like, shit. Yeah. Did I have plastic in the last one? Well, that's the labels are getting a little out. I'm going to start putting like, let's put out a product and it'll be like free of blood. Yeah. There's a hundred percent no blood in this Vegan product. Vegan motor oil. Yeah. Like it's. Well, anyways, Whole Foods has a, a whole thing about how they get their fish. And I'm going to actually talk about just fish farms. We're actually almost like in an hour. So okay. we'll finish up fish farms pretty quickly. But there's one more interesting topic about economics. But fish farms seem like a solution to all this. Mm-hmm. And a fish farm I always thought was more of like I have this huge ass swimming pool mm-hmm. and I replicate, you know, whatever water this fish is used to and I grow this fish in it. Yes. What is it like? That exists, but that's like horrific and disgusting apparently because they just put so many fish in there yeah and they they shit and they, they don't have the right oxygen levels and then like parasites grow they, like i salmon. did know that fish had to have antibiotics yeah some do and apparently like like salmon typically has this like nasty like parasite on it oh, no. but but they swim from salt water into fresh water and mm-hmm. it dies off uh-huh but if you're growing them on a farm, you mm-hmm. can't really make that transition for them. So uh-huh. then you have to like kill that off with like antibiotics, antibiotics and drugs and stuff. So the solution to that, which happens a lot, is um, fish farming mostly, and it's called aquaculture, is they just do this in actual bodies of water. So you go into a body of water and you section it off with netting or fencing. And you do your fish farming in real water. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Is that cool or not cool? It's cooler. Um, the idea is good, but again, now you're fucking with the ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Um, you're you're gonna have overcrowding. There's too many people. Well, there's half, too many people that just want to eat meat. Yeah, I get. I won't. I mean, that's yeah. It. That's it. No, that's the, the end. That's the end of this podcast. It is. There's no, too many not. people <laughs> that just want to eat meat. You can't eat this much meat. You can't eat this much meat. You can't have that much dairy. You can't have this much fish. And uh, you just fucking can't go eat a fucking carrot. It will continue to give you, it'll make one plant will give you more carrots than you can ever fucking need. That's it. That's the end of the story. Just eat some fucking plants. Well, that's the justification. It's like we're feeding the world, but you can feed the world with plants. Oh, did we not that's know another the story? Show. Oh, no. Teach what? a man to fish. Something about fishing. He'll eat for a day. <laughs> no, give, give a, a man, man to a fish. fish. He'll eat for a day, teach him how to I, fish. You know, I forever. just said that to... Your niece, because she was talking about, she was mad that people were giving money to the burnt down Notre Dame. Oh, cathedral. yeah. Cathedral. Okay. Is that I mean, Notre Dame? Yes. Was it Notre Dame? Let's not get into no, It wasn't topics. Notre Dame. It was. Was it? Okay. Yes. Anyways. Fish farms. Okay. So half of the fish that we eat in America comes from tanks and aqu- aquaculture. I think it's a cool name. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's clean water issues. Um, apparently, there's like escaping issues. Um, salmon, I guess, like escape. Twenty percent of wild caught salmon mm-hmm. in a uh, ca- caught salmon in the North Atlantic um, are escaped fish from farms. The wild caught wow. salmon that you eat. And oh, that's sad. They end up there though. Yeah, but the bigger problem is like they're their DNA is all fucked up. They, they, they don't grow as big mm. and they have different like genes. So then they go out and then they're reproducing with others. With, a, with the real salmon and they're mm-hmm. messing up them. The salmon was um, like, Ooh, look at this. <laughs> this, look at this tiny little this fine fish. Sleek little swim salmon. Swim up over here. She's got a waist. A slippery little she's sleek so, salmon. She's so tiny. Um, Wrap my little flippers around that. Overcrowding is an issue. Um, Do you think like the big girl fish are like pissed then? Why you gotta go get yourself one of those tiny fishes? I don't know how much how much thought do you think is in a fish's head? A fish's head. Um, so that's, much. That's another thing about the justification. Some people Wasn't eat that a fish. fish song. A fish's head. No. Fish's brain. Some people eat fish because they think that they're just swimming plants. That's not. They don't feel pain or think or have any like emotions or relationships. No. No. I think I've talked about this that. The electricity that started my body that's pulsing through anybody's body is the same. That electricity is, it's like, it's the same. It's 100% the same. It's interesting. If it's a horse, if it's a mouse, if it's a 
dog, a cat, a pig, a fish or whatever, the electricity pumping through its body that started its brain, that electrical current is universal. It's the same. I, I, I get that. You should write a book on that. Uh, Lisa's unscientific approach to that animals. That would be the end of the book. That it's, it, like The book would be like, page one, it's page two, the page three, same. Like That would be it. Well, there's a ton of stuff to talk about with this, but I'll wrap it all up quickly with just saying there's a lot of waste. Like I said, some, in some places, like they produce almost half or two-thirds as much waste as human beings. Fish? Fish, yeah. Oh, they'd in, be pooping in these all tanks. that time. Have you ever had a fish? I'd say like 27. Those like long logs? If you were going to... I mean, like the curse of letters coming out. I've never had a fish <laughs> that shit long strands like, the, of, like a capital z coming out of a goldfish <laughs> all right theo von <laughs> um pig so if you, if you want to picture like the overcrowding picture a bathtub and picture about 27 uh foot long trout in a bathtub of water <laughs> what so if you put 27 one foot long trout in our bathtub. That's the kind of environment that I'm these 100% are hundred percent sure in. that would not fit in our bathtub. They, it'd be tight. Um, but that's if you look them up online, they're horrifying. It's like it's the, it's, it's scary. Online. Don't eat um, fish. There's sea lice. Um, they remove those sea with lice? chemicals. Um, whole People foods though. Going back to lice. whole foods, I'll give them some props. Um, everything that I read about that's bad about fish farming. They're, they mentioned that they are against it. They're completely avoiding it. Okay. But that I guess that's why you pay a little bit more going back like to that to going there. More. Um, but the other big problem, which I, I briefly mentioned earlier, is most fish are not <laughs> vegetarian or not herbivores. Mm-hmm. Um, they're predators. So Do they eat other fish. Yeah. In so their tank? so to run a fish farm, you got to go out and catch fish. <laughs> To feed to, to feed fish. The fish. So that's where it gets a little crazy. And then you're, a lot of the things that people go after, like the omegas and the fatty acids that you're looking for in fish, mm-hmm. are depleted out of them to the point where they're not even... They're not healthy. It's not even there. And you think that's why oh. you're buying this tilapia or whatever. You can get that omega-3s and fatty acids. So my mom brought over some, some pills, sort of... Some funky juice. Some, some oil that we have to take sips of. It's disgusting. Well, here's the but the last thing here. It's cool. Wrap it up with a, a exciting economic issue. Okay. I like this though. It's I don't know. It's I never thought of this, but so this is called Javon's paradox. Javon. This, this is an, from Louisiana. If anyone's ever taken a an economic class, apparently I did. I'm um, I'm I'm literally so fucking good at economics. So, so you've heard of this before. Uh, no, Bring it haven't. at me. I'm um, really good at economics. That. So this guy, Micro Will- Macro, throw William it at me, Bill. Jevons in the 19th century, he was an economist who pointed out that by making, so they made coal burning equipment like steam engines and stuff that used to mm-hmm. run everything way more the efficient. Reaper. And they thought that by <laughs> making them more efficient that we would use less coal. Okay. But the efficiency um, expansion leads to more widespread use of engines. Mm-hmm. So you made... Cheaper and easier to run this engine, so more more people go get that engine, and now you need more coal to run all these engines. So your efficiency actually increased the demand for coal, Mm -hmm. Um, and that's exactly what people are – that's what they're arguing is happening to fish. So we've made it super easy to produce fish on farms, and it's become way more available. The price gets driven down Mm -hmm. because there's so much out there. The demand goes up. More people want it, so now there's even more farming and fishing going on, either real fishing or farm fishing mm-hmm. going on. So, by trying to solve a problem of feeding people and having more food, too Je- many people. Jevon's paradox. Jevon says that you know Jesus, you, you've actually that scared the heck out of me. Increased the problem. Um, who that ten year old is underwear that just walked out of her? He's room. like taking a picture. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, he opened the door and like a flash happened. It's probably that was terrifying. Light. Um, He's just on a seventh hour of screen time. That's fine. That's fine. Um, okay, so that's about it. The ninety-five percent of the farmed fish we eat from overseas um, comes from less regulation too, so it might be grosser and dirtier. Okay. Um, 
Welcome and this the is federal government is we are dun, 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 dun. I really like that song. Dun, dun, Cluster dun, flies dun, the last. Dun, dun, dun. Um dun, dun, that's it, that's dun, all I got. Dun, dun. You wanna just sing us out with a fish song? Hold on, what's the other one where it's like I'm going in the refrigerator? You know? <laughs> what? It's like there's something about an orange in a refrigerator. The, you know? the tweezer song you were singing earlier. What was the tweezer song? Yeah. <laughs> tweezer in the freezer. T tweezer in the freezer. <laughs> this is a get like, her with a teaser. It's the best band that's ever existed. Oh my! No one has ever even come Are close to being me? as good as the band Fish. No. And today way. in 2019, they are better than they ever were. <laughs> God, I can't. Are yeah, you serious? I swear to God, if you, that's the best band that's ever existed. Oh, my. okay. Yeah, sorry. They don't, but their lyrics don't make sense. Doesn't matter. They're literally like, it's like they're singing jazz music. It's part. It's another instrument. <laughs> Some of their lyrics make sense, but a lot of it was like, I'm gonna get her in the tweezers in the freezer. It's and so, then I'm gonna I'm gonna like, so like eat a tangerine. We'll do a little history lesson here and. <laughs> From a band dream. A good amount of their songs came from like, and it's funny, I don't usually like this stuff, but the... It's from it, like old relics of jazz music. They really picked up all their... No, the guitar player made up like a fictitious like story for his thesis at University of Vermont mm-hmm. in Burlington, Vermont in college. And don't you think if he was and a real musician, he would have started before he graduated from high school or college? All the characters. He's a really good musician. He's a very respected musician. Yeah, but don't you think if he really had like a severe talent, he would have started before he graduated from college? Just saying he's just not good because he went to college? I'm just saying that like... I think college... I'm just saying if, if he it was like college, really his... you're probably not that talented I'm just saying music. if it was like he was really his like his... His one goal in life, why did he pursue something else for so long? A guitar player from Queen is a astrophysicist i think he got that after that's true he did but Whew. i guess you're right you've you've debunked my argument that fish sucks because they went to college and you weren't even listening to what a point i was making 100 percent. no what was the point you're making it doesn't matter no he made a character he wrote like a fictitious thesis uh-huh. paper and the whole story he takes characters out of and wrote songs about them but oh my god do you know what's funny is when i was in college your jokes i made a i i i made a cartoon book called the farm okay and it was p-h-a-r like pharmaceuticals oh my gosh and it i had like i had all these characters and they were all pharmaceutical like drugs and they had there was like I, it was a comic book like a legit i had little doodles for like each one it Where like, is it? It's I, good. I don't know, but it was really, really detailed. Then you finished college and all your creative ideas were ruined? No. By college? No. I know I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, if I had, like, a serious passion, yeah, I wouldn't go to college. Well, they just started a band while they were in college. It wasn't a passion. They just turned out to be the best band ever. That's not true. They the best they band. They didn't plan for that. No. The best band in the world, as well, we all know. Hold on, folks. What? Is. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta justify this. It's Led Zeppelin. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that. It's Way better. Just, this is a rock and roll band. They're great. They were great. They perfected rock and roll. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'll give you. And that. like, when does like you? A lot of Fish songs. They cover a ton of Led Zeppelin songs. Okay, but like Fish doesn't even like they don't like rock out. It's oh all. It's all just like the two step. No, you they, know, so you they don't, don't scream. You don't give it they a chance. Yell. You like walk into the middle of like a two hour movie for five minutes. You're like, this sucks. No, they this don't, is boring. They don't. But I feel like they never like 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 Led Zeppelin like rocks out. They're screaming Not all the time. Yelling. There's build ups. There's lo- really long songs that build up to a huge climax at the end. Yeah. Just like fish. I don't, I've never heard their climax. No, their climax you, sounds the same as the rest of the song. No, you've never given it a chance. We'll go to a concert. You have to see it. Um, all right. So for that, I guess that's fish. I that's still on topic. I hear them enough. <clears throat> you don't give them a chance. They're on all the time. Well, I would appreciate it if you gave them a little more. You know, we're married and we love each other. And I don't want to listen to fish. It means a lot to me. And Okay. Great band. Stop. People don't need to hear about our dirty laundry. <laughs> 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 okay.
Okay. Thanks for listening. Um, vote. I cannot stress more. Please, please vote. Cause if you got to this point of the podcast, you must be a big fan. You uh, you can come to Columbus and come on the party bus. Do you know how much fun that would be? All like, if we just had like a couple people come up. Um, Even if it's just you and me, we'll take a part. I know like Tofu Louie will come <gasps> with us. For sure. Uh, maybe like we'll get all. Just any, like the Columbus the vegans. Columbus vegans. And we'll go on a party bus. That sounds so much fun. Yeah. Let's do it. We're going to be hitting them hard to help support us. And get Fuck. Us. Yeah. Okay, cool. Make believe. I'm excited. It's in August. So Maybe. August, party bus to the Columbus Podcast Awards. All right. But voting's only during the month of May. So. Yes. Get it done. This will this will encourage us to continue to podcast. Don't even don't even make promises. You know you can't keep. They're not promises. Okay. We love you. I'm probably drunk by now, so I got to go. And good night. Thanks. Thanks.